Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on QNT. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great world. We're going to talk about QNT. I'm going to start with this. Think stable coins are only for end consumer? There's a huge B2B market which Quant is tapping into with their patent pending patented MLT's solution. So they're going after bank to bank. URC20, no code, easy to deploy, deploy on any DLT, interoperability between DLTs, regulatory compliance features such as freezing of assets, multi-party confirmation on high value transactions. That's a game changer. Some people would just rather buy it once. It gets back to four or $500. They need the confirmation. People are still skeptic in the cryptocurrency, let's be honest. But people that get in at these prices will definitely be rewarded for just hodling QNT and others in the HGTP ecosystem. Again, that's what I don't understand about crypto. Right now is a very good opportunity to buy QNT. The prices that people are waiting for, like $40, I think they're gone at this point. And people will wait, and they'll buy it at higher prices. Prices much higher than where we're at right now. And they do it with a lot of cryptocurrencies, not just QNT. Bitcoin is a digital store of value like gold. QNT is a digital store of value like diamonds. QNT is going after 27 different markets. Ethereum was the only ecosystem for the entire crypto market in the past. Well, Quant OVL is going to be the entire operating system for the world. Interoperability. This is how big QNT is. See, when you talk about QNT, it's hard to explain it. That's it because it's so massive. It's tied to every single thing. Global finance, payment rails, asset, tokenization, currencies, bonds, equities, real estate, art, etc. Open banking, trade finance, consumer apps, etc. Logistics, shipment, food tracking, luxury goods, blue economy, etc. Healthcare, systems, interoperability, AI analysis, database reconciliation, Internet of Things, smart cities, smart homes, vehicles, drones, other government records, insurance, telecoms, airlines, airports, space agencies, HTML through DLTs. And again, you try to explain this to like normies in the world. Like I talk to some of my friends that aren't in crypto and I tell them right now is a great opportunity because they always say, oh, I should have bought Bitcoin years ago. Then you tell them about Q&T and they're like, yeah, well, it's not Bitcoin. It, no, it's way better than Bitcoin and it's right now and it's cheap. Now's the time to get in. But when I try to explain it, it's like, I tell them, you're buying everything all at once. You're buying Web3, you're buying Metaverse, you're buying NFTs. And then on top of that, you're buying into, you know, healthcare. You're buying into every aspect out there all at once when you buy Q&T. And they still miss the value in it because it's not Bitcoin. I'm telling you right now, the people that only see Bitcoin will miss out on Q&T. But then look at it like this also. Think of all the value coming to Q&T with smart cities and smart homes. Smart cities are very popular right now. At some point, smart homes will be all the talk. Everybody's going to want to have to have one. And then AI in the future. Inter Internet of things beyond that. GM, Quant family, good morning. Wake up every morning knowing I am an early hodler. Holder of the project that will change the trajectory of the entire global financial market is a damn good feeling. Again, when you buy Q&T, you should say to yourself, I just bought another piece of my financial future. My financial freedom in the future. When The day you bought Q&T, you bought probably one of the wonders of the world. It's going to be that big. People truly are going to miss out on it. But you knowing that you hold even one, two, three, four Q&T, in the future, that's going to be life-changing. 
If you're not buying QNT and stockpiling it, then what the hell are you doing? This is an easy four digit token on the next bull run. This will be the permanent number three crypto. I believe it goes even higher than that. I believe it's a five digit asset easily. Some people speculate higher, six digits. Why Bitcoin when you have QNT? Again, QNT and Bitcoin in the same sentence doesn't even make sense to me at this point. Bitcoin is a dinosaur. It's outdated technology. QNT is the future. Quant Network, improving the life of people. And our, on our partnership with LA Chain, Gilbert Verdian explains, not only will it be easier for people to send and receive payments, but more importantly, they can access new markets because LAC Chain is cross-border. Banking the unbanked, giving opportunities to people that don't have opportunities now. All of these ISO coins somehow, some way, help people also. A new paradigm of user-centric ecosystem with a combination of public and per permissioned open infrastructure is coming. All eyes on LAC chain moving into 2023 to present the Latin American dollar with Quant Network. That's going to be very big. And then we see this. Now this is talking about the sandbox. XRP through Ripple, QNT through Quant Network, HBAR through MTech, the future is now. And this is, they're talking about the new digital dollar. When I talk about this, I always say it like this. There's cryptocurrencies that are part, that are inside the sandbox program. Well, if that's the case, then QNT is the sandbox. Because all of these cryptos are going to be tied to QNT somehow, some way. Once Overledger is enabling enterprise mass adoption of blockchain. This is probably the easiest way to explain to a normie that this is what Quant is. Because it gives you a visual example of it. It's so hard to put it into words. It ties to every single crypto. It ties to huge businesses and enterprises throughout the world. It's going to be part of all of the payment systems. It's going to be the operating system that holds this entire thing together. One massive network. One of the wonders of the world, in my opinion. You can't always depend on QNT to push back above $100. It cannot be suppressed for long. Again, I do believe the price is very suppressed on QNT. I can't believe it fell below $100, honestly. QNT CEO listed on the ISO.org website under the ISO TC307 page. QNT is the safest investment in crypto and will be one of the first projects to be adopted by the masses. Again, people are still trying to say that QNT is only rumored to be compliant. Gilbert Verdian wrote ISO EC307. That to me tells me QNT was compliant before ISO was even talked about. And people still try to butt on that. People still call QNT a scam, which I don't understand why. I mean, I just showed you just a couple things about QNT. There's so much more to it, and it's continuing to grow and expand partnership after partnership tied to every single crypto out there. This is adopting ISO 307, and we see right here, blockchain and electronic distribution ledger technologies. The mandate of this committee is to promote standardization of blockchains and distributed ledger technologies to support interoperability and data interchange among users, applications, and systems. Once the BIS says, you know, this is what we're going to go with, it's pretty much telling me Okay, I know now that QNT is going to skyrocket in price. It's tied to all of these organizations. EIS, World Economic Forum, tied to the new financial system. All the CBDCs will be tied to QNT somehow, some way, whether it be through the cryptos that are tied to QNT or directly tied to QNT. It's everything all at once. 
You want to buy into something that deals with GameFi, Q&T, NFTs, Q&T, Web3, Q&T, Metaverse, Q&T. Anything you name can be tied somehow, someway to Q&T. That's why I'm telling you right now, it's an easy five-digit asset at some point. It's like buying Bitcoin for, the ch for cheap. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. Please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.